so we woke up pretty late today. Uh, what time we woke up? Uh, um, 11 11.44. Mm. But some people already did sports. Some other people were like more lazy and fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However... I, I don't know who is who, but you know, you, make know your, who? you make your best guess. Make your best guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can see who has like muscles and who is just... Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, now we go to the... <laughs> so we have a very special and convenient place to go to. There is a very well, nice restaurant, I would say, nearby. Yep. Yeah, kind of close. Might need to use the car, but... Yeah, we're just right. thinking, like, should we use the car? Uh, I think it's... Because I'm kind of lazy at all. Yeah, true. I mean, we'll see. We'll see when we go. We... we... Fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out the cafe next door is closed. Big L. Disappointed. It only closes on Thursday. Today is Thursday. Only on Thursday. Yeah, they only Every other day, on. totally fine. Thursday. There's actually a cafe like right next door. Like, I'm not even kidding. I thought that, oh yeah, it will be a funny skit that we film. Yeah, we just go and find a cafe like close by. And the cafe is literally next door. You can touch. You can touch it, yeah. Time, you can I touch. Think. Our door and the cafe store. The door to this house and the door to the cafe. Like that. Do you know what I mean? Ah, uh, and the funny thing is the cafe only opens from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. every day. Besides Thursday! So now we have to be back at square one and then look at our phones to see what sort of options we have. Google map is always our best friend. Okay, and then a top tip if you're looking for restaurants in Japan. One, write Japanese so you get more options. Two, look for semi-high ratings but has a shit ton of reviews than a high rating but with little reviews. So a restaurant that has a 3.8 rating out of 5 but has a thousand reviews, it's going to be better than a restaurant that has 4.5 stars, but only, let's say, 10 reviews or something That's like true. that. That's true. The amount of reviews is the benchmark, not the rating itself. So the more ratings a restaurant has, the more reliable your search is going to be. Yo, that's a professional tip. Professional tip. Always look for a restaurant that is open. <laughs> Found one of the. Why is it every time in Japan, every time like we went to a restaurant or something, it's like we found one of the nicest restaurant ever. <laughs> but it's true. The owners were super nice. He keep hitting Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I need to put. Wait, I need to put down my stuff. Don't reverse. Do not re. Oh. Pretty wild, <laughs> pretty wild actually, pretty loud. Lewis, how do you rate the Obachan restaurant? I mean, she hit me, which was for a German guy pretty warm and close and normal. <clears throat> yeah. So I really liked it. She was not very Japanese. The food was pretty peng. I got a dessert. I don't know if I paid for it or if it was included in my meal. I have no clue. But no, no, it wasn't included. Yeah, I would say a solid. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Or 8. Or uh, actually, I don't know. Maybe, eight or nine. maybe food is like a. No, but might be. Uh, it has to be a 9 because if you go to a place that just tastes very good, it's already an 8, right? Right. So this has right, to be a yeah, nine. yeah, yeah. Because okay. she hit. That's some bonus for you. Because she hit me. <laughs> she was so funny. She was actually pretty funny. Like, she was. We asked if we can have like a. Like a picture together just for memory purposes and yeah. then she's, and she said, like, she's super shy she said it's so cringe 
Yeah, she, she said, said, show me the picture of this. You're like, two cool guys. And then, and then what the fuck is this? And <laughs> <laughs> we said, no, no, you're so beautiful. You're not a grandma. Oh. <laughs> it's always fun to have like interactions with the locals like this. It makes it super memorable. It's not just like you going, eating, and then, oh yeah, the food is nice, and then you leave. But yeah. you actually have some sort of an interaction with the owners, with the people working there. It just makes everything a little bit more special than yeah. it already is, which... I totally, totally appreciate. But your understanding her was a little bit more difficult than usual. Maybe and it's because. And of I wonder if if they have a is there a Shikoku dialect, a strong one? I don't know. If someone knows. Mm. Tell me. Or maybe I'm just stupid. Could also be the case. <laughs> Over that we haven't really woke up yet in terms of Japanese. Mm. Yesterday, Lewis and I wanted to go to a puppet village somewhere across. The mountain ranges but unfortunately because of weather conditions and snow our car couldn't make it it's on summer tires so we don't want to risk anything and the roads <laughs> were closed but as we are going home yesterday we stumbled upon this place quickly marked it down on our maps and decided to come to a mini version of the puppet village that Lewis wanted to go to so Lewis do you want to explain what a puppet village is yes so like the original village is an abandoned village in Shikoku and there a Japanese artist kind of made an installation with many human-sized puppets um, in the whole abandoned village to show or kind of criticize that all people are fleeing to the cities and the countryside dies and yeah it's pretty cool and now we have the small version here it's not like Nagodo the, the city <laughs> but yeah it's it's a good alternative since we couldn't go, so pretty happy about that. 